During these challenging times, is the times to come together. It's the time to make a difference. Across the UK, we have charities, volunteers, and local groups who are doing their best. We got this live from the open kitchen here in Hounslow. Over 100 people were being fed on a daily basis. We're here with a human appeal today at Whittington Hospital in North London, having delivered 100 meals to the NHS staff. Thank you to Nadi Park Royal and to the Mayfair Islamic Centre for their generosity. We've received plenty of these great food parcels today. For those of us who are people of faith, these days on the one hand can be challenging because we can't meet together for prayer, but we can continue to do good works. I'm a volunteer for Islamic Health uh, at the Sultan Bowl Trust. Uh, we're here at Penn Hospital in Wolverhampton. Just giving a small gesture of 80 food packs to the amazing frontline workers. Because we are at Bradford Road Infirmary and we've just dropped off a pallet of water for the staff who are working tirelessly. We just want to say thank you to Muslim Charity for providing a lot of food for all the staff today at, at Blackburn A&E and it's much appreciated by everyone. So we're here in Morrison's in Stratford. We just collected a couple of hundreds of eggs. They will be used as delivery for the vulnerable, providing a bit of chocolate and sweets. This is Umar Welfare Trust at the Anita Stone Court Nursing Home, Mosley, Birmingham. It was an urgent request for PPE. One of the staff here told us that the stuff that they have is enough just to last them till the end of today. We responded to the call and they need uh, and we've donated this um, PPE. Today we've received a message from W.O. Smith that donated loads of food to Muslim charities. Bread, oil, some sardines here. This food has been donated generously by our local community and will be donated to families of anti-isolation. Isolation to families, but those families who cannot afford to buy food. Well, I just wanted to kind of offer my services to deliver to the elderly. I just wanted to be able to do what I can, even if that's just leaving the house for an hour, to be able to deliver to people who can't get here and who have to kind of stay in the house. The instructions that all the volunteers have been given is um, to place the bags outside the homes of the elderly and knock the door and then move back and allow them to collect it themselves so there's no contact taking place. Slaikum everyone, I've just come to deliver some food for this sister. In my eyes, you're more than a hero. You're a real lifesaver at the moment. I've got a young family and I'm shielding uh, an elderly, very vulnerable dad. Just delivering a food parcel. And I was at a real struggle today, a point where no one could get me any food and then at the last minute, the Muslim charity has stepped in and they've brought me food to my door, so I'm really grateful. <laughs> Bro, thanks a lot, bro. Things are beginning to heat up. It's getting really busy now. We're seeing lots and lots of patients who are really unwell. I think the most important thing that I would like to say for anybody who's going to listen to this or see this is please, please, please stay at home. We're not overcooking this. It's really important that you guys stay at home. I guess the real inspiring lesson and the thing that gives me real hope uh, for the future uh, amongst all this madness and this, you know, craziness that's landed upon us is that I saw people from different communities, different backgrounds, people that maybe in a normal day, in a normal course of life, wouldn't actually even meet each other. They wouldn't even maybe stop and talk to each other, but they're working together. So women coming in their lunch hours uh, and dropping off food parcels to, um, you know, people opening up their cafes and cooking food for us. This is unprecedented times, but also needs unprecedented actions to come together. So thank you Open Kitchen, and thank you Muslim Hands, and thank you to all your volunteers for what you do. Keep our energy going. Thank you so much. Hello, good work, brothers. They need your support, they need your prayers, and most importantly, together we can do it. We can spread love, we can spread peace, and we can spread hope to our communities.